times in the first two rounds of the final five. Here we're going to get a penalty, and Minnesota State will get another power play chance as Bluger was taken down trying to fire from the top of the circle, and this could be more than two minutes. There's a chance this is a major, and obviously the officials are going to concur on this one and discuss exactly what they saw. But let's watch the play right there. Oh, that's Ooh. contact to the head. That's a no-brainer. Ouch. It's a dangerous play right here. The head is down. The elbow is up. It's a bad combo platter there. I think you're going to see a conference here. That's the discussion right now. It's two, or is it five? And we have the benefit of a replay. These guys have to go by the field they had as they watch that play develop. Mike Eves anxiously waiting on the Wisconsin bench about the only thing that could open the door for the Mavericks here would be something like that, a major power play, and we'll wait for the official call as the officials confer. The whole key now is, did the player tuck the head down or did the offender bring the elbow up? And if you bring the elbow up and make contact with the head, that leads me to believe it might be five. And that's what's taking so much time here. And I, I like giving the officials a chance to discuss this and not panicking and just forcing a call. Let's have a couple of different eyeballs on the situation. And I like what they're doing right now to kind of make sure they're in agreement on how they want to make this call. Mike Hastings trying to get his team settled down. He's been fighting that battle since literally the opening minute. Wisconsin scored a minute three into this game. And they have been in control ever since. Veteran officials Todd Anderson, Brad Shepard will now make the decision. And Ramage, a key player for the Wisconsin Badgers, sitting to wait his fate. They don't open the gate for Ramage. Just they've, they've given him five minutes, but did not attach a game misconduct with it. And I think that's what the explanation is given right now to the Mankato side of things, because I'm sure they're wondering why this wasn't five in a game. They will get the five minute power play. Mike Eves, obviously, Looking at things the other way, and I'm sure questioning why it's five and not two. Four nothing, and we're just approaching now the halfway point of the hockey game. The, the key here is Rob Ra or John Ramage, the son of Rob Ramage, is one of your top four defensemen. So now the whole orchestration of how you operate in the penalty kill gets kind of thrown out of out the window. And now if you're the Mavericks, you're thinking, well, four nothing, this this thing probably is done. But for the five-minute power play, you get one or two goals here. Third period still wait. It, it changes everything. You can see Mike Eves doesn't care for the explanation. And I'm sure doesn't care for the decision made by Ramage either. Now remember that so far tonight, Maverick power plays have generated more offense for Wisconsin than they have for Minnesota State. The Badgers have two shorthanded goals. 